Oh, yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick, man, on Young Dolph revealing that Juice World is actually his cousin. That's crazy. Uh, One of the things about Dolph, he's, he's uh, spoke before about being originally from Chicago, which is where Juice World is from, the Chicago area. And he said that they actually have their real blood cousins. Like his family, it was revealed to him before that he had a cousin like in 2017 that rapped from Chicago. But Dolph did say that they never had a chance to kick it. But, you know, my supporters are going to want me to speak on this. They, a couple of them have asked me about this before because they know that I am a young Dolph fan. They know I jam the shit out of young Dolph every day. They know that Dolph is one of my top artists to listen to. If you go back to my list that I made on my Instagram a while back, I wasn't saying Young Dolph was the best rapper, but what I was saying was he's in my top on my playlist for sure. Uh, but I will say this. By this caption, you can pause it and read it, or you can go on Dolph's Instagram. It will not be seen as genuine. I'm just being all the way honest with y'all. That's just me. I know how the public think. I know how the public move. The way Dolph typed it, you can't tell nobody how to grieve. I can't tell Dolph how to grieve. I can't tell him how to be in pain and deal with death. That wouldn't be fair. But by reading this, this is what these people would take at take it as, just being honest. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what other people will take it as. It ain't got nothing to do with my personal feelings or my personal opinion. People in the comments was already saying it, calling it cap, this and this and that. You know, the internet does not let you be online and be emotional and you can't feel sorrow for somebody dying and things like that. Rest in peace to Juice World, though, bro. You know, you left a major impact on this game. That's why I'm still covering it and speaking on it, even the stuff that ain't got nothing to do with the, the stuff that transpired. Uh, I'm still jamming Juice World. Like I said, I went to the show this summer out in Frisco, Texas, outside of Dallas for the Unruly Music Festival, and it was fucking lit. One of the best performances a nigga ever seen. That's a fact. And I try to remember, because I can't remember every performance I've seen, but that right there was a real experience, man. The creativity, the style. Then he could spit on the spot. Killed every funk flex freestyle. You know what I'm saying? So I would have liked to see Dolph and Juice World on something together, me being honest. They both have two different creative sides, two different sounds, most definitely. Juice World is another caliber artist than Young Dolph for sure. Juice World is a more global artist and a more diverse artist and an all around artist, as opposed to Dolph is more just strictly trap and street, which is nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I would still love to see them tap in because Juice World could get in so many pockets and do so many different things, man. So, you know, he just revealed their cousins, things like that. That's crazy as shit, man. You never know who you're related to in the world. But he said he he meant to get to link up with them and things like that. So tell me what y'all think about this, man. Like, dislike, comment, all the above. Go to the section, hit it up. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram at urbanpoliticians underscore big ant. And also at Urban Politicians TV 1000.